like helping them move house almost. We want to go, we're ready to go. We're on to something bigger and better. That's awesome. With his bags packed, Connor McGrory will be one of the first patients to move. We're most important, so, <laughs> nah, it, yeah, it'd be good. And can't wait to get over there. This is the first time that we've moved up to 120 patients in on one day. Three, 10, 17. Yeah. It's been 12 months in the making and Gail Milner is overseeing the first of several major transfers. How you strap them down, what do you do with their belongings, um, making sure their the headrest is in its appropriate place. The first to move to Fiona Stanley are more than 100 patients from Shenton Park's rehab centre. Those patients are relatively stable. It's a really good opportunity to test the workings of the hospital. 23 vehicles, more than 200 staff facilitating the move from Shenton Park along Mounts Bay Road and onto Freeway South to the brand new state rehab centre. The logistics of the first move have been planned and timed. Waiting ambulances and transfer vehicles will transport patients every two minutes from three different exits at Shenton Park. The total turnaround time is set for six hours on Saturday if everything goes to plan. When we first thought of every two minutes, we thought, oh, that's not possible. But actually, it's very possible. Um, and it works really well. We're thrilled to be involved with the move. St John's Ambulance CEO Tony Ahern is preparing his team for the transition. There'll be some anxiety and nervousness and that sort of thing. So it's very much the role of our, of our ambulance staff to, to help them to cope with that and, and reassure them and, and make it as pleasant as they can. The move will be monitored at the Health Department's command centre. In the same way parcels are given tracking numbers, patients will be closely followed using similar technology, scanned on arrival so no one gets lost. Our aim is to provide a safe and seamless transfer of the, of the patients on the day. While there'll be no road closures on Saturday, John Venables from Main Road says they'll be watching closely via CCTV to assist where they can. You only need one car to break down or a crash at a certain intersection and then we'll have to make some adjustments. Lengthening green lights, monitoring traffic and detouring ambulances are just some of the ways Main Roads will be making the journey safer. We'll be able to adjust the signals to, to modify and and alleviate. So we don't want any, what we don't want is any build up of traffic or, or patients being stuck in, in the traffic delays. The next big move will be maternity, with patients being transferred from East Fremantle's Kalia Hospital to Fiona Stanley in November. But it's the transition of emergency in February that will be crucial. When Fremantle's emergency doors close, Fiona Stanley's will open and its critical patients turn up at the right place. Oh, give us a wave. You know, it's a really major day for, for health um, and it's just so exciting. As for the very first patients, they'll be part of history and Connor can't wait to get there. We're all pretty excited to get over there and check it out.